Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my channel. Today we paint a phosphor uh, uh, glue in the dark paints. We start by priming with the mecha gray primer. You want this is very durable acrylic primer. You could use the white primer, but we're saving like a couple of passes or a couple of coats with using the gray primer. I thin my primers one is to one with my thinning sauce and apply it like in a couple of coats. Make sure you let it dry in between coats. Now we paint with the best white acrylic paint, the premium white. This feels like the Mecca pure white. The only difference is, is that this is super matte. And being matte, it feels like it covers better than the satin finish of the pure white. So I highly recommend this paint. Normally we paint the glow in the dark paint or fluorescent paints over the white but I wanted like a really bright color even if it's not under blue light or under even if you're not triggering the glow in the dark stuff. So I'm painting with my fab green which is Scorpina green from Game Air. This is like a very very bright green even if you just apply it in two thin coats. I thin this three parts paint and one part thinning sauce. You could go away without thinning. Just add a, a couple of drops of flow improver but use a bigger nozzle airbrush like maybe a 0.5 and you won't have a problem. Now we paint the glow in the dark paint. Yes, I'm calling it glow in the dark because it's super hard to say it was for recent. Our glow in the dark paint is from the premium range. Uh, I'm not thinning it at all. I'm just adding a couple of drops of flow improver to prevent tip drying. But it's super thin. The coverage is like the fluorescent paints. But it's super nice after three to even five coats. Make sure to let dry in between coats. I use a hair dryer to do that. And then once dry, test it under like no light at all to, to see if you're happy with the glow in the dark effect. So the glow in the dark paint is pale green. So I decided to put a layer of fluorescent paints on top of it to, to make it more green and more vibrant. This was kind of an experiment. I'm doing this for the first time, but it kind of worked. Now it's too green. Now it's too monotone. So I decided to paint a layer of yellow fluorescent to give it a bit of, well, so that it's not too monotone. No thinning for fluorescent paints because it's too thin already. Just add a couple of drops of flow improver and you're good to go. Now let dry in between coats and we're done. Oh wait, no, we're varnishing first because we're doing crackle medium on the next video. So we're using premium varnish here, gloss varnish. I usually use Mecca gloss varnish, but I just wanted to use my premium. Now we're done. So I activate the glow in the dark feature by pointing a blue light. So, and then after I remove the blue light, voila, it's glowing in the dark. That's it. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and do visit my website. Saludos! I am done. Welcome to my channel.